Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review and demo of the Garnier Fructis hair food and in this video I'm using the macadamia one um, but I have used um, quite a few of the different scents. So I've used the banana and shea one, I've used the coconut one, I used one of the fruity ones as well, I can't remember exactly what it was, but yeah. So I've used a few, um, but they're all quite similar, so this review will apply to all of them. I will say that some flavours, or not flavours, but scents, some scents are not available in some countries. So this macadamia one isn't actually available in the UK. Um, I think in the UK it's called coconut with macadamia, um, but this one is available in the US and Australia as well, I believe. So anyway, so into the review, I'll start off with the scent. The scent is very pleasant. So it's a light scent, very refreshing, like um, very sweet and nutty. So it does kind of, I don't know what really macadamia smells like, but it does have a kind of nutty smell to it. Um, and then the consistency is very thick, very creamy, um, and just feels very moisturizing but it does soak into the hair very easily. So although it's thick when you're scooping it out of the container, once you run it through your hair, it soaks in so easily and really feels like it's actually doing something, like your hair is absorbing it rather than it just sitting on top of your strands. So that brings me to how it feels actually in the hair. And as I said, it absorbs very, very quickly so it's also good for detangling as well so um it does provide a lot of slip despite its thick consistency which um is quite interesting actually because usually products that are really really thick don't then glide through the hair very easily so this is the best of both worlds it has the thickness to it so that you know that it's working but it also leaves your hair very slippy and easy to detangle so as you can see, um, detangling my hair was a breeze there. I literally could do the whole quarter of my head in one go. I didn't need to, sometimes I need to split it up into smaller sections and I don't with this product at all. It's also really good for finger detangling if you don't use brushes. You can easily run your fingers through your hair as well. So in the video, I've done all four sections of my head and that's how much I used. And it looked like I was using a lot, but as you can see, there's quite a lot left. So you will get a few uses out of this. So the way it says to use it on the actual container is that you just, if you're using it as a mask, like I am in this video, you can just leave it on for like one minute. But I never leave my masks on for one minute. So I left this on for a good, I think it was 15 minutes, but sometimes I'll leave it for even longer like half an hour so it's completely up to you apparently it does work after one minute i've never tried it on my hair for one minute like by the time you finished applying it the one minute would be up so i don't know <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to me especially as you can also use it as just a normal conditioner so as surely it's a normal conditioner you would leave on for one minute so i don't see how then you can differentiate between it as a normal conditioner and as a mask if you're only using it as a mask for one minute. But anyway, so as for how this product feels in my hair after rinsing it out, um, it feels very, very moisturized. Um, it's not one of those products that feels moisturizing while it's in the hair, but as soon as you rinse it out, your hair just goes back to normal. However, I don't feel that, that greasy residue like on the hair that feels like it's just coating the hair into like a false moisturized state. I also use this as a leave-in sometimes. Um, I also don't get the residue using it as a leave-in. I haven't used, as I was saying before, I haven't used it as a normal conditioner because um, I just feel like my hair needs a deep condition every week. So if I'm gonna do a deep condition, I may as, and I'm using this product, I may as well 
deep condition with this product and so I probably would never use it as just a normal conditioner. And finally, the price. This product is really cheap. I can't remember the exact price off the top of my head right now, but it's a very reasonable price and I'll put it on the screen. Um, but it's definitely, definitely worth the money. So price is not a problem with this at all. So overall, this is definitely one of my top five masks top five masks maybe not top five leave-ins but it's definitely one of my top five masks that's how I most often use it it works in my fine hair but I think it would be also really good for thicker and coarser textures because it is so thick and moisturizing yeah I recommend this product and that will be the end of this review I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video bye